Hi everyone, I'm Ivor David from the IT Bar. Welcome back to Creating Greeting Cards Using Computers. Now, out of the six stages, let's see where we are so far. Stage one, we've completed. Create greeting card project folders in the USB. Stage two, download images to folders in the USB. And stage three, upload USB images to Google Photos app. Now we are currently on stage four to link Google Photos to the greeting cards website template. So no more lolly lagging. Let's get to work. Okay, so here we are at stage four. Now I'm currently signed into my Google Photos. I'm looking at my About Me postcard album and I just want to link this album to the greeting cards website template. So while you've been away, I've been busy adding extra pictures into my album. I won't go through them all now because we don't have enough time. What we do have time for is making that link. So I need to go to the greeting cards website. The greeting cards website that I use is called mypostcard.com. I'm not being sponsored by them but they're the best greeting cards website that I've found for what we want to do, simply because you can actually, they're the only ones I know that you can actually link Google Photos to their templates. So I'm gonna sign into mypostcard.com, but I don't want to lose this tab. I don't want to lose this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus here, up in the, um, above the address bar and get myself an extra page or an extra tab. And then I'm going to type in my, in the address bar, I'm going to type in mypostcard.com and press enter on the keyboard, not, with, not using the mouse. I'll use the enter on the keyboard and it takes me straight to mypostcard.com. Now, at the top here, it says sign in or sign up. So I'm going to click on sign in and it gives me some options here. I prefer to sign in with my Google account. So if you click on sign in with Google, you will be taken to one of your sign in options. Now I'm gonna sign in with how, because that's what I've been working with so far. So I'm gonna sign in with how. And there we are, we're signed in. Now from here, we want to send our greeting card and we want to get to our templates. So it's quite simple. Are we ready? We go to send a card. So you go straight to send a card. And then once you get to send a card, you'll see there's some options here and there's a few different types of cards you can um, choose from. I'm going to choose multi for this exercise because I want to use the six pictures from my um, Google Photos album. So I'll click on multi. And it's given me one, two, three, four, five, six locations in this template to put my picture. So they're like six placeholders with a big plus sign on there. All I've got to do is click on the plus for the first one. I think I put my flag in there. And look, it's asking me where do I want to get the images from? It says select a source. Now, I don't want to do it straight from the computer. I want to be able to do it from um, my cloud service, from Google Photos. So I'm gonna click on import from online services. So I click on that and it's going to try and link to the cloud service of my choice. Now, if you look down here on the left-hand panel, you will see it says various different types of um, cloud services, but we want to use Google Photos. So I click on Google Photos and then here in the center, this blue button changes to Google Photos. I'm gonna click on that. And now it's going to do that link between Google Photos and uh, mypostcards.com postcard template. I need to give it authorization. So I click on Hal again. And it's asked me, will I allow it to make that connection? So it's good, it's quite secure. It's, 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 
it's asking you over and over again for human interaction to, to confirm it's okay. So again, I'm gonna say, I will allow. And there you go, it's happening now. And look, it's brought in the two albums. Remember the one with Lillian? So it's brought in the two albums. And here's my About Me postcard album. That's why you see it's important to give good names for things that you wanna go back and find. So I'm gonna click on the About Me postcard album. And you can see all the pictures that I had downloaded from the internet onto my USB stick. And here I want to put the flag up. So I'm gonna use the flag in the top left-hand corner of my postcard. So I click on the flag, it's saying it's uploaded, and there it is, there's my flag, okay? So next, I want to import another picture onto this placeholder here. So I'll click on there, and it repeats the same process. So let's go through it all. I'm gonna go through this quite fast. I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to <laughs> sit down there watching me do this. And then I'll come back to you um, when I've finished. And there you have it. Finally, I have linked the photos that I have in my Google Photos album to the mypostcards.com website's template. And on the top left hand side there, you can see that I've got the flag from the country of my heritage. I've got some food that is um, from the country of my heritage. I've got my favorite animal, which is a leopard. And then there's me doing one of my favorite hobbies, which is archery. Yes, that is me. I know you can't see my face. And then there's my favorite flower, which is a sunflower, and then my favorite dessert, which is blueberry and apple pie. Now, all that's left is for you to have a go. Now, don't forget below this video is a link to um, an assessment quiz, which asks 10 questions about some of the content of this video. It's a good way of reinforcing your learning. And if you don't feel that you can answer one of the questions, you know what you can do. You can pause me, you can rewind me, and you can play me again. It's been great, it's been fun, and I'm gonna see you on the next video when we're gonna be on stage five.